In this example, we're going to take a little bit of a closer look at some of the new array nodes in the schematic view. One of the easiest ways to use these is with curves. So to start, we'll go ahead and place down three different curves. These curves don't need to be 100% accurate to one another because once we pass these into an array, it will create its own segments based on the number that we specify. Now that we have these curves in the mesh item, let's add it to the schematic view. Now we need to add the curves to array node. And we'll patch the curves mesh into the curves to array. And you'll note that the steps is 20. And that means each one of these curves is going to have 20 steps or 20 indices. So regardless of how many vertices we have per curve, it's going to assign a new set of indices anyway, based on the number of steps that we specify. Now we'll create an empty mesh, which we'll use here momentarily, which we'll be using for the create polygons node. So we'll add in the create polygons node now. Now we need to connect up the curves to array into the create polygons and we'll plug that into the positions because it's taking an array and the array outputs positions. Inside the create polygons node we want to make sure that we set this to bridge and what this is going to do is going to bridge in between each one of those curves. It's also going to take the number of steps that we have inside of the curves to array and that's why you see 20 different spans being bridged across the curves. While performing the bridge function, we also want to make sure that these curves are not closed. Right now, the polygons are also facing the wrong direction, so we'll select the curves and hit the F key to flip. Now that we have the base set up, let's go ahead and select the curve, and then we can adjust it, and you'll see the polygons are adjusting live. All right, let's finish this part of the setup here. Let's go to the Create Polygons node. And what we want to do with the Create Polygons node is change it from faces to curves. The reason is because right now we only have two poly loops going perpendicular to the curves themselves. And what we want is to actually have a little bit more control in here. And the way we'll set this up is to create another curves to array. With this new curves to array, we'll plug in our create polygons and it will take the curves we have now and make a new array out of those. This allows for more control of the number of spans that the bridge is creating. And that one is set to 20 steps. So let's go ahead and make a new mesh and then another curves to array. And what we want to do with this one is to plug in our create polygons node into the curves to array. And as we do that, you can see this new grid. And this grid is 20 by 20 because the initial steps is set to 20. We'll create another create polygon node and then plug in the curves to array into the positions of this. And now it looks like we have some slices and that's because it's currently set to fill. So we'll change this to Captain Clark and then we'll bridge. And what this will do is give us a 20 by 20 polygon patch. Now that we have that done, what we can do is select another curve and then just do a live adjustment here. And you can see that the patches are adjusting accordingly. And lastly, what we can do is if we don't like the distribution of the edge loops, we can go and change the sample distribution, which changes the position of the steps inside of the curves to array and thereby changes the edge loop distribution as well.